Hey there, welcome to the channel. I'm Ahmed from Effecto Design. Uh, we are going to be creating this button uh, from scratch within uh, Insider Framer. And uh, I've posted this on, on X and on Reddit. People have been asking me how we can do this on Webflow or, uh, you know, and or Framer. Webflow's video is already out and this one's for Framer. If you'd like to just get the remix link for this, uh, you can head to effect.design and then you can just join the community. Right now you can join it for free. It's a premium community where you can get uh, access to all of the templates uh, that we, we create on the on the channel and uh, forever basically. So, But if you want to learn how you could do it, so watch this video to the end and uh, it's even better if you actually like sit down and, 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 uh, and learn how you can do these things. So yeah, let's jump right in. All right, so we're starting off here from scratch. We are going to start by creating a text layer, and we're just gonna say effect.design. This is gonna be the button text. Let's zoom in. Uh, we'll make this, let's make this 18. Or like, let's say 22, okay. Um, next step is adding in our arrow. So it's actually gonna be our arrow. We're searching for icon, feather icon. And then there is arrow up right. Mm -hmm. If we can make this 22. Let's rename this arrow. Maybe, maybe it's a bit too tiny actually. Let's have this 24 or maybe 26 even. And then 26. Okay. Uh, now what we're going to do is we are going to add in a frame. But before we do that, um, actually, no, let's add a frame first. So we're going to add a frame here and we're going to make this fit content. And uh, let's just center this because then it doesn't matter. We're just going to be using it on our website, right? So um, let's create components. We'll call this external button. All right, step number one, effect of design the text. We're just going to click shift A and we are going to make sure that it fits the content. And we're going to give this padding of top uh, eight pixels, bottom eight pixels, left 16, right 16. We're going to give this a fill of dark, a black, and then we are going to give this a white um, text color and we're just going to round this off okay so really big number 100 um next step is we want to make sure that this variant or all of this is within another frame so all of the components are within another frame and this is a relative frame and here we are going to make sure that this is an absolute, uh, absolutely positioned element, which is the arrow. And this is just gonna say button text. Okay, and this is going to be our button. Uh, button text here, uh, we need to give this a Z index of one, but I think since we don't have that option, we need to actually do something where we, um, make this absolute and then back to relative and then yeah and then we have the option for z index we'll give this a z index of two okay now the arrow is going to be actually let's have a z index of one the arrow is going to be the way it is um now we want to make we want to sort of make space for the uh for the arrow right uh, so what we can do is we can go into the button text and increase the right padding increase the right padding to let's say 32 maybe 36 and then if we move this 
here. Such actually let's let's see if 38 would make more sense here. 38. We can actually calculate this by figuring out the width of this and then sort of centering it in the middle and keeping the same padding on the left as it, as it is on the right. But I'm just like doing it super quick here. So some trial and error button text okay I think this should do um, next step is we're gonna rotate this we're gonna give this a white color and we have our first button is starting to shape up uh, we're gonna create a frame and we're going to put it right here. This is also going to be absolute, by the way. Um, but this is going to have a Z index of zero. Because uh, we want it at the back of the of the button, of the black button. But uh, we'll keep it as at one for now, just so we see what we're doing. Here we have the whole button um, to be a height of 42.5. So we can just go in here and... Instead of having a, f a fit, so we'll just say 42 pixels, right? 42 pixels. And then this one would be 42 pixels as well and 42. And we can round this off. Uh, and now what we have is we have this uh, circle element. We're going to give this a yellow color. Again, something really quick here. And now what we want to do is we want to shift this towards the back of our button. Let's just center it. Make sure it's centered. There we have it. And yeah, Z index of zero. So now it's hidden, right? Next step is creating a hover effect. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to move this circle by 40 so it's negative 42 now we don't see it because this variant um, has the overflow to hidden so if you have visible it's now gonna show this and then we can also move this here uh now we're just going to last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the button text and just go back to regular padding on left and right and we're going to sort of flip this. And if we did everything right, we should end up with something that looks... Yeah. Looks looks pretty decent. We just need to do some final adjustments. I kind of don't like how I can see a little bit of the, of the yellow uh, edges to this. So what we can do is we can just go into this circle element and just give it a scale of so transform scale 0.9 and then here on the other state it could go back to one and then um last thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the transition is a bit smoother so let's say 0 0.6 so we're just gonna go for a custom Do something like super quick. Yeah. So super quick at first, and then and then slows down. The reason why I want it I want it to be a bit quick at first is because I want it to feel responsive. So I want it to start the animation right away. As like when I hover in, it starts animating right away. Yeah, and there we have it. So um, let's go back to home. We can start using this. We can even, you know, what we can do is we can just say this is a variable uh, that is button text. And then we now have our own component where we could just change this text into whatever. So LinkedIn. 
let's say this takes us to, to my LinkedIn page. And then, uh, yeah. So it's responsive, it works. And then for for different breakpoints, we can just scale down the whole button. Um, or we could, um, when we change the text of uh, the size of the text, um, obviously we change the height of the button and then change the height of, uh, of the arrow and the circle as well. But I think just scaling it down would just make more sense. And anyways, on, on the button, uh, on a, we probably want to use a different button anyways, because there's no hover interactions on mobile. Uh, so maybe we can just use like this sort of state for the mobile uh, version. All right, and we are done with the tutorial. I think we've uh, we've managed to pull this up in like 10 minutes, which is great. Uh, like I said, if you want the remix link, you can head to effect.design and uh, join the Discord community. There you can get all of the all of access to even the workflow files, er just everything on there. Um, and yeah, if if you enjoyed the video, maybe leave a like, subscribe. It really helps push the channel even you know forward and uh, push the video to more people who, who need this. So uh, appreciate your support and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.